Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I'm going over some of my older videos here. Not real older, but I mean stuff I have recorded and I didn't use the, the mic. I had, you know, probably stuff going in the background. It's easier to get a good race going in the afternoons, of course, and that's usually when everybody else is up in there. There's clanging of pens and running around of children. All good, happy sounds of life. But it doesn't make for a good studio. So, here I am grabbing the RE7B. I actually don't know very well what's going to happen in this video. It's been a while. Perfect. Let me look at how far away it was. June. June 15th. So it's already... We're into September. It's September... What is it? 6th? 7th? Something like that. 6th. Okay. The day's not getting away too far. I mean, so here it's September 6th. So it's... I haven't seen this since June. Middle of June. Sorry, I'm the RE7B. No one seems to know how to do the turbo, you know, launch here. Trying to get through clean. All right, I don't think that should have affected him that badly. And oh, it all goes wrong as it always. That stopped out. It. Uh. Okay, so that that went well. Last. Oh, we can see people. Oh, there goes somebody. Oh, they're crashing and they're flying around. And all right, well, that was that was worthwhile. I was getting to watch that. I guess was people just flopping all over the place. Not one of my favorite tracks, to be honest. I don't generally do really well on this one. I usually get completely crossed out somewhere here. This section through here is very dangerous. Now, it's the kind of section that the RE7B really excels at if you don't screw it up. And that's a big if. I knew somehow I was going to do that. That is... An, uh, that was just terrible. Still, it is, I think, sloppy track design to have it so that they can happen. I'm trying to go around this guy. Who's in a devastate, so he should eat me alive in the tubes. That was prescient. And again, I don't have any vague memory of this. I just figured he'd catch me later on. But I didn't know he'd catch me up and spin me. I'm only up to ninth because other people were getting eaten alive by the track. This section always used to be a problem for me. I'd always land on the rocks and then bounce it off into Never Never Land. Well, we'll see if we can take this up through here. I'm seeing little lag spikes there in the video. I don't know if that's because I'm just recording from perhaps a fragmented video file or if that was happening to me in game and we captured that. That has been happening to me a lot in game, so it's a very possi good possibility. And that, oh dear, I had nowhere to go there. And in all honesty, I think I helped him out and spun him around the right way, and now I'm, I'm hurt more. At least I was able to get myself out of that guy's way. See how considerate I am? I was seriously considering repainting this. Sure, no. I was thinking of going with like a gold and estancia kind of. Stop it! What was that? Why didn't you. I stopped. I said, look, just go around me. I'll, I'll, I'll do something else. And then he backed off. That was. I, I aimed a little wrong here. I don't think this is going to end well. It didn't. This, is, this track is such a troll. Again, I don't generally do well on it. Come on, load. See, now this load time, that's painful. Because that means the cars are just pulling away. Lost so many positions there. I'm getting abjectly killed.
Again, I think I made positions there because other people had difficulty with the jump. That's a, that's a thing. Oh, somebody just looked like the, the guy landed? Someone else flopped off the track there. There's a lot of flopping on this track. I mean, the RA7B I think is really a really good choice for this. It's just that I couldn't execute with it. So yeah, that was better. Trying not to spin this guy. Because that's not my way. But if he's going to come up into me, well, come on, dude. I'm, I'm trying to give you room. Give you so much room, I'm almost falling. And you're coming after me, you know? But that didn't work out for him. So I pulled myself into top 10 range here. Which top 10 out of like 16 or whatever it is is probably not that great. Didn't even get top half. But we're, uh... We are coming back a little bit. Yeah, it was 16th at one point. So to make up six positions with a lot of mistakes made. I guess that shows an overall good pace. But not a lot of consistency. A little bit of a bounce there. I think at this point I'm probably hoping not to DNF. Still no DNF timer. Now there is. Did we DNF? I mean, we can see the finish line from here. But can we get there in 20 seconds? Can we go? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can. No DNF. And of course, you get to load somebody else's view. Woo! He d doesn't care anymore. He's just fooling around. Top 10. Alright. Finished 10th. Not great. Not a lot of jip points. Not a lot of rip. Yeah, here's for you. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. Yeah, it was a terrible race. An Autark one, that's an interesting choice. I did have best RE7B, because I was the only RE7B. Autark with the best lap and the win. That's an interesting thing. Got beat by the ETR1 and the Tesseract. We're doing it again. Is this a doing it again? Oh, I'm looking for there. Trying to devastate on, on Raton. Is that Raton the first time? No, maybe not. No, no, I remember. Okay, Raton's a different one. Here's all the peeps who'd be racing. Wait. Here we go. Timing down. Will it be that guy? Some more Autarks. I'm trying to devastate. Got roughly pole here. And I know how to do a proper racing launch, and this jump screws me up all the time. I wonder if you can really, no, you can't go around it. You need to take that jump. Floating that out there, at least it landed, and it didn't spin out. All right, holding the lead for the time being. But I'm sure catch up and slipstream on, so therefore, an early lead is always a dangerous thing. Wow. I'm getting no frames per second here, but. 
And we're through that. I wonder if that happened in game where it's happening now. I don't know. <coughs> me. I think if, uh... Oh, this has gone bad. It looks cool, but it's gone bad. I'm doing a, a, a completely wrong flop. I don't know why that flopped so badly, but now we're... We're into second. It was a very bad flop. That's not good. At least he didn't get hung up. He kept the momentum. With those kind of uh, kind of walls, you really don't want to try to snuggle up against them because you can get caught easily. Now, in the Devastate, I should be the king of the coups. Look at the speed. Look at the overspeed I've got coming past that guy. I think there's a certain amount of natural curb boosting that goes on. With the twos. Okay, there's that. That's a tricky jump. Hammer down. Into the loop de doop de poop de oop. Ooh, that was close. The race so far is going better than the last one, but that's not saying much. And there's lots of opportunity for choking. Like there. Thank you for the boost. I was uh, losing control there, and your boost helped. So at least I, I got a lap. I won one lap, and then this guy slips three past. That's not going well. That's not going well. I missed the uh, checkpoint. Okay, I've got first and second in sight. I'm getting frame drops that I don't know if they're related to me re-recording this as I'm doing the voice. Or if it happened then. Honestly. Flouds just said, honestly. Blank you. That reminds me of a story. Remember back at a previous employer. There was a guy I worked with who was on the field service team and the field service manager would do stuff to them. Like, you know, he would know about a trip on a Monday that was going to happen on a Friday, and he would tell them Thursday afternoon just to just to maintain the fact that, hey, your field service, you have to be ready at a moment's notice to drop everything and abandon all your plans, and you would do stuff like that. Well, that's, that's hilarious. Thanks for that. And he did this to my one friend, and... This guy was a former Navy guy, okay? So, that whole thing about cursing like a sailor, it's true. But he was all upset, and we're trying to talk him down a little bit. I said to him, Phil, what can I tell you? It's a whirlwind life. And he said, oh yeah? Well, blank you, shooter. And I'm serious. And then he walked away. It was the end I'm serious that really kind of made us all just fall over the floor laughing. It, that makes it honestly, not just not just blank you, but honestly, blank you. Blank you, I'm serious. We're, we're still friends, I mean, we got over that. There's some nice saves there. In the middle of that story. I'm still in third. I don't know that I could pull anything out better than that. Let's see. Is there another lap? Kicking it. Finally made that jump properly. That guy didn't. He, was, he looks like he's giving up. He was a, he was a back marker. All right. 
Well, I'm in. I don't know how this turns out. Do I stay in third? Do I do I completely choke this and end up last? Comment in the description how you think this is going to turn out. Or don't. I mean, it's just, or just watch. It's, it's all fine. Good drift. That, that was nice. I don't know if it's the fastest way through, but it looks like I would at least try. Again, I should eat them alive in the, turn, in the tubes. Except when it goes kind of like, all right, let's get this thing down on it. Please land on the pavement. Please land on the, okay. I'm doing whatever I can here. I'm trying to reach for the curbs. Reach for the curbs. I can't outhandle a Wagner. I should be able to out-tube a Wagner, though, but it's a short stretch here. Hoping for the Devastate's top speed. To reel this guy in. This, you know, it's all, you know, the Wagner's got good speed, too. Couldn't do it before the turn. The over-the-top overtake. All right. Didn't quite... Oh, he didn't quite get it. He outhandled me through it. Now it's a battle. Slip the autark. I didn't even think I got the slip there. In the first, I don't know if I can maintain that. I've got catch up on, but I've got better top speed. They're going to catch me up in the curves. Where did they go? Did they get did they get tangled up? Suddenly I'm way ahead. For the win. Oh, that was a nice comeback there. That I think that qualifies as a comeback. Well, no, I led from the I I kept the pole and then I won. That's not a comeback. Okay. Why is my life like this? Why do I play this game? Why am I just spinning my tires? Why did I buy this car? Ah. Is there some glitch where you get like lots of money if you just finish last? I don't know how that works. If you just give up. Interesting choice of car. I imagine a lot of people, you know, that once once the T20 came out back in the day, and that was like the number one thing, they adjusted their their driving style to the T20, and that's what they're used to, and that's what they're going to use. And it's, it's a good car, so. You can get away with that. You can at least, you know, you can finish the races. How was your day? Fine, how was yours? Zipping along. I was confused, is that the um the Spectre of the 770? I never I never remember which one's which and or the, um, the Itali GTB has that same kind of look. Okay, I think that's a GTB. You can read the badge. No, what the, that's a Pro Gen. What the hell is it? The Pro Gen is it a. I'm just showing my ignorance. It's a Pro Gen. Does the protein have the GTV? I don't even remember. I don't own all these cars. I don't watch enough Bruffy. I need to watch more Bruffy. But there I am, looking clicky clickety, doing my Austin Powers. Look at the camera throw in the back, throw it in the air. That's right out of Austin Powers. 
best lap by well, a good couple of seconds there. Who else? Anyone else close? Yeah, by about two seconds. Or the next best lap of an autark. The autark must be pretty effective. And we'll watch one more before we head off to another video. We'll do Green Machine. Now, as I recall, I don't know if this is true after Casino or not, but the Devastate had trouble on Green Machine because there's certain jumps where it just doesn't want to fly, and I don't know why that is. So I might have chickened out of you. I mean, theoretically, Devastate should be the perfect vehicle for that, but it will not make some jumps sometimes. Things have to go absolutely perfectly or it won't do that. And usually I would do the, even when I was recording these, I'd do the time warp again on this, but I guess we'll have to manually time warp again here. It is Green Machine. Not as many people. Picking some up, losing some, losing more. Might as well do it to it, that looks like it's it. It's kind of percolate. People joining, people leaving, people joining, people leaving. All right, there we go. That could be the, that might be the look to look for. That's floods. Honestly. All righty then. Yep, I went with the, uh, I chickened out and I went with the Wagner on this one. Because I wasn't sure if it could make the jumps. And you lose it, you miss a jump on that. And I don't know if that's just me. I think I helped him. Whether he'll take it that way, I don't know. Thank you for the boost. Yeah, he just, some people just, they don't want to pass you. They don't want to win a race. They just want to hit people. It doesn't help their cause, you know? Not, not in the cause of winning. <coughs> okay, that was, one was a devastate. Someone took the, had the courage. And whoa! My brother Wagner takes me right the heck out. Oh, it's just, it's just carnage here. Okay, so I passed the guy who wrecked me. Down in the fifth. That was a risky move. One little, one little toss of the, uh, the steering wheel there and he could have put me right off into the abyss. The guy next to me, but he didn't. That was good. What is your issue? Yellow Wagner, what is your major malfunction? Flouds left. Flouds was running a, a high, uh, high frustration in the air. Maybe go through the loopy doops. Okay, racing directly with the devastate. This is going to get ugly. How do you get ahead of me? I thought I got ahead of him. Okay, I think he got tangled with somebody else, and then that allowed me to go past. Now these, these here are the jumps I was talking about. And my devastate, for whatever reason, I barely make this. Like, it just, I have to angle the cars so that the front wheels will land on the, uh, the pavement. Sometimes they'll actually fall backwards and fall off. But I don't know if that's continued after some of the changes to uh, to the cars with the Diamond Casino update, because they have changed some of the advanced handling flags. Alright, well that devastates apparently made it up, so...
I'm not gonna catch him in the tunes. He's just too fast. Somehow I'm in third. I don't even know how I'm in third, fourth. There's that guy. But he'll screw it up. He'll just slip through. He'll just crash into somebody. I'm getting slipped, but I don't want it there. Okay. We're into the... He's going for me. So I had to move inside a little bit. I'm off the line. And then somebody else took me out. Great. That's apparently the standard for these guys. It's just... Let's just... Play bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper. Now the only good news is, is that they'll probably get tangled with each other again up there. And I'm, I'm coming right up on this guy. Autark, Nero, you know, custom rather. There's my thus far nemesis. I don't know if I'm going to get around him. Have to outdrive him purely, and he's gonna. I mean, he's he's definitely just not randomly crashing people. He's being very surgical about it. That doesn't make him a better racer, but we'll give him better results at time to time. But you know, obviously, then you're gonna end up in videos like this where you're exposed to just a completely dirty racer. I was able to outdrive him through the through the corners and get ahead, and so he has to smash into me, stick me to a wall. If it wasn't for the game physics, I probably should could have slid off that. Well, if we we're doing this completely realistic, could be dead. But you know, several times over. So I guess we can't complain about game physics. Kicking it up, kicking it down. I feel like I'm closing on him, but I don't think there's enough track ahead. The only thing that can happen is he'll catch up to first and then try to wreck him, and then when they get tangled up, I might be able to close on, but I don't know if that's going to happen. For as many times as, as I have been smashed into, I think third's a pretty good... Uh, every time I say the word third, I end up in fourth. Of course, is a pretty good showing. Well, that was dangerous. That was some dangerous maneuvering there. Um, I'm racing with the Devest 8. Now, he's got the faster car in the straights. He can absolutely take me in the straights. Wow, lap 3 of 3. There's no need for that. Just pull away. It is a need for that. It's 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 hurt my position. What more do they need, right? Come on, Wagner. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking the Chrome Crew needs a you know that was I was it was cool when I screwed that up. I don't know what I was thinking. That's the main thing. That's the main aspect about Green Machine is that turn. I don't know why I was I zoned out or something. Maybe I was at that time contemplating the paint of the car too, but that cost me. At this point I probably was demoralized. I'm like, I'll just drive this through already. But I don't know if the uh, if the silver, blue, and, and red is still gonna be what I want to go with for in the fall. Maybe that's it. Maybe the fall is coming. I'm just thinking more in terms of fall colors, you know? Yellows and oranges and reds and golds. I'm thinking of going gold and black sort of liber liber livery? Livery of some nature, you know, something along those lines. I haven't become a Saints fan or anything like that, but, you know. I guess you can run into that joke however you want to run it. Okay, so I'm, I'm at least within shouting distance of fifth. 
but like they're gonna have to have some drama for me to catch up. I don't have the top speed. And that was a well taken corner, and that'll buy me some time, but I don't know that it'll uh Again, if uh, if the Devastate makes the jumps properly, and we'll try this again at some point, then the Devastate would definitely dominate this. At point. Of course, the Wagner would dominate this if people would stop smashing into me. XD5 finished in first place. So somehow we ended up in fifth. I don't know how we ended up in fifth. Miss Griffey was right. Again, there must have been some turn drama. All right, fifth is not the best I can do. You know, on paper, the Tempesta is a great car, but you hardly ever see one on front. Probably just the entire, entire, you know, I do so many stunt tracks. It's just not a stunt track car. It's a, that's a city car. It's very good looking. And it's nice to drive, but it's... I finished fifth. Good game, guys. Gotta go and get the kids to bed. And that's where this all wrapped up. And this video back then. Hail Santa. Okay. Not where they're going with that. Yeah, that wasn't... Hey, but I did beat the guy who wrecked me over and over again. So that, there's, there's a moral victory there. Fernando. Fernando. Da, 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 He wrecks me out. Fernando. Da, 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 da,